with August being black business. <laughs> we talk about how great we are. Like, thank you guys for watching the show. Seriously, it means well, a lot to us. Yo, that, was, that was a good, like, like you know, kicker, as they say, uh, you know, on the back end. We are going to dine in the D at some of the best black owned restaurants around town for the coming weeks. Yes, and today we are taking you to a place dishing up flavors from the African diaspora and infuses them with Caribbean taste or Caribbean tastes. Yes, get ready to dine in the D at Yum Village in New Center, Detroit. Bold flavors from Africa and the Caribbean with stewed meats so tender they fall off the bone. Those are the landmarks of Godwin Ihintugi's Yum Village. Uh, it was very important to me to build a community of yum. You know, being a, a Igbo man, African in descent, a village and yum because of what I was trying to create. And Chef Godwin has had lots of practice making yummy dishes. I have been cooking since the tender age of eight years old, and I took it upon myself to try to make some lemon pepper chicken wings and some pancakes. Turned out horrible, but moral of the story is don't give up, keep going. All that hard work paid off. He initially opened up a food truck before moving into this space on Woodward in 2019. When you think of the diaspora, there's so many different colors, there's so many different flags. For that reason, we try to be bright, try to be colorful, uh, as well as inclusive. He also likes to use his restaurant to promote other businesses, like incubating food startups, or serving only brands by people of color at the bar. Specifically to promote what we're doing as a people. The menu is a mix of family recipes and his own inventions. I tell people that we're a beginning of the conversation of what uh, Afro-Caribbean food can be. This spread looks amazing. So let's get into the menu and we're going to start off with one of their appetizers. These are their turned up fufu. Now fufu is a traditional African dish normally dipped in stews. His are fried, they're made with cassava, plantains, and aged cheese blend. You can dip them in stew or in these dipping sauces. Another great way to start off your meal are with these Afro fries. So they're kind of like an African twist on poutine. They have a yam sauce over top, which is savory and delicious. So that dish is actually vegan, and so is this next one, is the Just Plants combo. It has fried chickpeas, that same savory yam stew. It also has fried plantains all over coconut rice. You can also create your own bowl. So for this one, we picked out chicken curry. You have the truffle oil greens, fried plantains, all over jollof rice. For this one, we picked out the garlic parm chicken, truffle oil greens, plantains, and this one's over coconut rice. Moving on to some of their dinners, this is the fried fish combo. So this fish is actually perch. It's fried, so it's nice and crispy. It comes with those truffle oil greens, corn cakes to have turmeric rice, and it's served with their peach honey mustard or Jezebel sauce. Next, we have a custom oxtail dinner. So these oxtails are cooked for a long time in this slightly spicy jerk-inspired sauce and they get so tender and fall apart. We're showing this one with the black pepper rice, pickled cabbage, corn cakes, and plantains. And finally, you can have this for brunch, dinner, or whenever, it's their chicken and waffles. So you have the nice Belgium waffle, maple syrup, plus their suya chicken. Now suya chicken comes from West Africa. It has kind of a peanut dry rub on it. Over there, they grill it, but here, they fry it up. It was also delicious. Are you already diving in or no? Yes, I have sampled uh, three things so far, including the greens. Nice. Yeah, there, there's, there, there's a consistent sweetness mm -hmm. to everything that I've tried so far. I've, I've tried, I believe, the burger, uh, the fries, the chicken sandwich, and now the greens. And there's a sweetness. Yeah, I could I could see that. There's a sweetness and there's 
Also, depending on what you get there, there's a nice heat to a lot of their food yes. as well. It's, it's like not, sweet and spicy. Yeah, sweet and spicy is kind of like what I would say is their, their main two flavor components along with a lot of savory options. So yeah, you had those two. Over here with me, I got some extra ones. We have the oxtail dish, which is my my favorite dish when I was there. I also really like this chicken and waffles. The suya chicken has a really nice peanutty flavor to it, just very um, savory. And then this is their fried fish combo, and this is one of their create your own combos. But they also brought in, so one of the coolest things I thought is that they love to promote black businesses and other small businesses. So over here, you can see all the different kinds of food they have in their incubator. So this is baked by Baba, this is INRI, and this is Bossy Anna brand. And these are all vegan desserts that you can buy there. Plus, Jason, I, um, I believe I gave you a drink. I'm sorry, uh, they were talking to me in my ear, what'd you say? Did you, I believe I gave you a drink, and I'm trying to open mine right now, but they also have their own drinks, fresh pressed juices, and they have these cocktails to go, and they're using um, only black owned brands, which I think is really cool. I have not had any of this. It, oh. it came half full, I swear. The peach cobbler Ooh. that I'm, I'm having right now How is, is it? amazing. Oh, awesome, I believe, don't quote me on it, but I think that's vegan, if you could believe it. Mm. Well, no, I don't believe that at all. It's vegan? I think so, yeah. I checked the, check the box. I'm pretty sure it says vegan health, because they were all vegan when I was oh, there. So I, I got vegan. you to like something vegan. There we go. Where are they located? So they actually have three locations, one on Woodward near Grand Boulevard in the mm. New Center area. That's the one I went to. There's one over on Agnes in the West Village. And then they have another one that opened up in Cleveland. Like as in Ohio? As in Ohio, they are expanding. So if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for my Dine in the D newsletter. It comes out every other Thursday. It is sent straight to your inbox. And to sign up for the newsletter, look for the newsletter tab at the top of clickondetroit.com.